Hello everyone and welcome back to the Nerd Cave. In today's video, we are creating a Fibonacci clock to show the time using the Fibonacci series. And this video is sponsored by JLC PCB, who is the official sponsor of the Nerd Cave. More about them later in this video. The inspiration for this clock comes from a very old post on Instructables, where someone has created a Fibonacci clock using the Arduino. If you want to create one of your own, all the code and files will be available on my website. Check the link in the description. Now to read the time on this clock, you are going to have to do a little bit of calculation. Let me quickly explain it to you. Here we have our Fibonacci sequence, which is 1, 1. 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 plus 1 is 3, and 3 plus 2 is 5. Now to read the hours, all you need to do is add the red plus blue. And to read the minutes, you have to add the green plus blue and times this by 5. So if we look at this one here, if we go add the red plus blue, we only have red, so we'll have 5 plus 2. So we will have 7 here. And for green, we will only have the 3. So times that with 5, this should be 15. So the time here is 7.15. Now if we look at this one here, we have blue plus red. So we have the time here is also 7. But if we look for green and blue, so we only have blue here. So we have 5 times 5, and this will be 7.25. And that is how easy it is to read this clock. Now instead of using the Arduino, we are going to use the Raspberry Pi Pico W. So the first thing of making this project was to make the enclosure. In Fusion 360, I have designed this enclosure, and I also have designed these inserts that we will put in to diffuse the light. After making the design, I then went and 3D printed all the parts. To display the time, I'm using this addressable RGB LEDs, which I have used in many projects before. It is great because this light, when it reflects through the white filament, will diffuse very well and show the colors very nicely. I've decided to use five GPIO pins on a Pico that will control the LED strips for the Fibonacci series. For the prototype, I have used a breadboard where I have connected everything to the Pico, but you can see here it is quite messy and the cables that come loose. But lucky for us, JLC PCB makes it easy for us to create a PCB using the Easy EDA software. In Easy EDA, I created this controller board which will allow me to connect the Raspberry Pi Pico or D1 Mini. I then place an order with JLC PCB and then after a few days, I've received my high quality PCBs. If you are building any projects and you're looking for high quality affordable PCBs, consider using JLC PCB for your next project. As I am busy recording this video, I do see JLC PCB has a Black Friday special and it has a lot of coupons available. So make sure to go check out this new promotion. I've 3D printed these brackets, which I stick the addressable LEDs on, and I just soldered all the strips together. I did this for all five of the squares. Then we just need to put the brackets inside, and then we can go plug it into the PCB at the back, and then we can put in our inserts that will diffuse the light. Now you just have to plug in a Raspberry Pi Pico in your controller board, and then let's quickly go look at the code. On my website, go to Raspberry Pi Pico and click on Get Started. Then click on Projects and go to here Fibonacci Clock and click on Code. And then click here to download all the code. Now go extract the code and then Fonny just go to the folder where you have extract all the code. Then we'll just click at the bottom, hold Shift and then we can right click and say upload to and this will upload all the code to the Raspberry Pi Pico. Now the main thing that you are going to have to go change is this config file. You're going to have to go put in your Wi-Fi address and password and then also you're going to have to go make your own daytime API. There is a link in the description where you're going to have to go set up geolocation IP and also then you can get your time zone for your country. Now, if we go look at this main file here, um, basically what is happening, we are using the new pixels. I was a bit lazy to count all the pixels, so for each strip, I just said there's 50 pixels because we're just gonna light up all of them as we light up a block. So you can go count it here, it is not necessary. And then here I defined all five strips. So remember, this is the number 11235. This will be our Fibonacci series. 
and then here you can go define the color so you can make this any color you want to and then here you can also go set the brightness for each strip now this is the maximum brightness and then zero of course will be off here we open our config file so that we can connect to the Wi-Fi and then here we get all those information from the config so our API key country code and so on so here we connect to the Wi-Fi and after we connect to the Wi-Fi, here's the function to synchronize the time with the IP geolocation. So there is a separate video on this, which you can go check on my channel. Okay, so after we got the time, we will set the real-time clock equal to our synchronized time with the IP geolocation. And here we connect to the Wi-Fi. And then here is the function for the Fibonacci time. So we give the hours and minutes depending on our real-time clock. We do a bit of calculations to see what of the value should be on for hours and what should be on for minutes and then we combine them and then we return the state and then here in our while true loop um, here's just a debugging for printing the state you can remove this and then here we will go fill in the leds depending on the state and that is that there you have a fibonacci clock now i am going to maybe make a second video where i will go in a bit more detail on this because I also want to add functionality for the buttons so that we can do a bit more things like changing the color or maybe using the button to change the brightness or just to change it into a lamp mode. Now, like all my projects, this is not the final video. I am planning on making a second video where we will still use the Fibonacci series to display the time, but we will do it with the golden ratio. I hope you enjoyed this project video and if you did, leave a like and a subscribe and I will see you in the next video.